Okay, we have a national for numeracy practice assessment here. Uh, my current third year class will be doing a test similar to the national for numeracy test. So I'm just kind of going over this as a little bit extra homework, you know, homework, home revision for them if there's a couple of questions that they're not sure about. So let's just get on with it. So question number one. My account for eating fuel amounted to 360 pound plus VAT. And VAT is charged at 8%. So normally it's 20% on fuel, it's only 8%. How much do I pay altogether to the fuel company? So work out 8% of 360 pound, which is 2880. It's value added tax. So you've got to add that onto the actual price you should be paying. Comes out as 388 pound 80p. Number two, cardboard box weighs 300 grams, put 12 tins of beans in it, the total weight will be 5.1 kilograms, which is the same as 5,100 grams. A kilogram is 1,000 grams, so 5.1 kilograms, multiply that by 1,000, 5,100 grams. So I want to know how much one tin of beans is, right? So let's remove the weight of the box so that all of the beans would be a total weight of 4,800 grams. There are 12 tins. I'm assuming they're all the same size. It doesn't say in the question, but I think we're meant to assume that. So 4,800 4, divided by 12, each 10 is 400 grams. Uh, currency conversion. Irene has gone to Australia on holiday. How many Australian dollars will she get for 620 pounds if the exchange rate is 1.54 Australian dollars to a pound? So that means every pound you've got, you get $1.54. So, 620 pound multiplied by 1.54 that give us how many australian dollars 954 dollars 80 cents uh, the calculator will say 0.8 on the end we just need to know that we add the zero on to make it 80 cents the reason why we do that the eight is in the 10 cents column not in the one cent column so we have like eight lots of 10 cents there which is 80 cents uh, time question so from 9.50 to 10.40, find the total length of time that has elapsed. Add up to 10 o'clock, that's 10 minutes. Add another 40 minutes, that would be 10.40. Altogether, we've added 50 minutes. He was starting at 12.55, we'll have to find out the end time. We know the total length is 2 hours 35, so add on 35 minutes, just counting round. So 12.55, 1 o'clock, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130. Then add on two hours, 15.30. This one, we know when it ends, we know how long it lasted, we need to count backwards. So remove an hour to get to 20.20, 20, then count back 55 minutes. Or we could come back an hour, then add on five minutes. That would be fine as well if you do it that way. The diagram shows the plan for the playing fields at a sports center. The manager has ordered 200 meters of fencing. Will that be enough? There's some missing sides. This side, well, I know this side here is 30. The total height is 40. So this side will be 45 minus 30, there, which will be 15. This side, again, still a height of 45. This part's 18. So this side must be 45 subtract 18. This length here, that's 60. So 18 plus this length plus 20 must come to 60. So this length on its own is 60, subtract 18, subtract 20. So obviously that's 27, that'll be 22 and that'll be 15. So the perimeter is a total distance around the shape, which would be 210 meters. Adding up all the sides. Does he have enough? No, he doesn't have enough. He's only ordered 200. He needs 210. So no, as 200 meters is less than 210 meters. In a factory, women can attach. Oh, that's great. In a factory, women can attach to labels. It should be can attach labels to, to a pair of jeans at a rate of 42 pairs per hour. How many pair of jeans? This is great. How many pairs of jeans can she attach labels to in 10 minutes? So, well, a whole hour she can do 42 pairs. So let's think about that in terms of minutes. 60 minutes, 42 pairs. 
divide 60 by 6 on 10 minutes, if we divide 42 also by 6, we'll get how many pairs you can do, which will be 7 pairs. Notice, guys, I've got a wee table there. I've double underlined my answer, so it's really obvious what the answer to the question is. Uh, another ratio question. To make a fruit punch, orange juice, and apple juice, I mixed together in ratio 3 to 1. Beth wanted to make 16 litres of punch and calculates that she would need 12 litres of orange. Is she correct? So the ratio of 3 to 1 for apple juice. So in total, that would be four parts. Three parts orange, one part apple, in total, four parts. So she wants to do 16 litres, so she's got four times as much as the original total. So she'll need four times as much apple juice, four times as much orange juice to get the punch to be the same flavour, getting it in the same ratio. So she does need 12 litres of orange, so yes, she is correct, because that's what she thought. <clears throat> uh, it's negative 8 degrees Celsius, it gets 11 degrees Celsius warmer. So add 11 onto negative 8, so it'll take 8 to get up to 0, but still got another 3 to add on, so we'd end up at positive 3 degrees Celsius. The line in the diagram has to be extended to be 9.5 centimetres. So at the moment it's 6.2, but to find the missing part we can do 9.5 minus 6.2. Well, if we wanted to, we could just count on, we could count on from 6.2 to 7.2, 8.2, 9.2 then count up 9.3, 9.4, 9.5. That would also give 3.3 centimetres. So two stores are offering deals on the same washing machine. So shop A, you pay £100 up front, that's what the deposit is, then pay £12 a month for 24 months. Or 12 payments of £12, I'm assuming it's monthly, it might not be. So 100 plus 24 twelves. Shop B, you're paying 30 payments of £13, so 30 lots of 13 is 3.90. So shop A has the best deal. This diagram shows a square and a triangle. Right. I had decided to measure this. So I'm guessing most of you know how to measure a line. But let's do it anyway. So... There's a way of rotating it, but I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Uh -huh. So on this diagram, it would be 11 point zero, maybe 11.1 centimetres. So on your bit of paper, guys, depending if I printed it out full size or not, it might be a different size, but just make sure you measure from corner to corner. So that's 11.1 centimetres. And let's have a go at measuring the angle. So we line up the crosshair on the corner. We then spin it around. So get the line on top like that. And then we have a look. It is either 101 degrees or 79 degrees. A couple of different ways of thinking about it. You should always be starting at zero. None of this inside outside nonsense. So starting at zero, we'll count round. That's 101 degrees. Or you could say, right, is that a right angle or larger or smaller? It's slightly larger than a right angle, so it has to be over 90. So we'd pick the 101 and not the 79. So 11.1 centimetres, 101 degrees. Again, on your printout, it might be slightly different. You just need to know the skill of measuring. Number 12, packs of washing sachets come in different sizes. Write down two ways of buying exactly 60 sachets. So 20, 40, 60, so three of pack A, which would be 12 pound, three fours. Or 30, 60, so two of pack B, two sevens, 14. So three of pack A is two pound cheaper than two of pack B, because 12 is two pound cheaper than 14. So notice which of these two ways is the cheaper option and how much cheaper is this option. So we need to write a sentence at the end to explain it. This pie chart shows the 
approximate share of the market held by several leading supermarkets. Nine billion pound was spent in Britain supermarkets last year. Calculate how much was spent in Morrison's. Right, we're just doing a fraction question here. There are 360 degrees in a circle. So the amount spent in Morrison's was 48 to 360. And we know the total amount was 9 billion. So we do, well, the way I would uh, teach it, top divided by bottom. So 48 divided by 360 multiplied by 9 billion. And that comes out as 1 billion 200 million pounds. This table shows the number of rolls of wallpaper required for different sizes of rooms. Use a table to decide how many rolls of wallpaper would be needed for a room height of 2.1 meters. So that would fall into this part here between 2 and 2 meters 15. And a width around the room of 13 meters. So there we are. So just have a look at the table where these two meet. That tells us how many rolls of wallpaper we need. So it'd be six. In which age range is the difference between males and females the greatest? So we're looking at the biggest difference in bars. So that one or that one. We're just looking at which one's bigger. Look as close as we can. That one is slightly bigger. So 20 to 29. Describe the relationship between age and blood pressure. We can't just write stuff like it goes up. We've got to mention something to do with the age. So as the older you get or as your age increases, your blood pressure also increases. Or the older you get, the higher your blood pressure. You've got to mention the age and the blood pressure. Don't just say it goes up, it goes down. The bars get bigger, smaller. That doesn't make sense. It's got to be in the context of the question. Seven pupils in a class had their weights and heights and weights measured. The results are shown in the table. Who weighs more than 70 kilograms? Let's look at that first. There are three people, Stephen, Susan, and David. And is less than 180 centimeters tall. Well, Stephen's not smaller than 180 centimeters. Either Susan or David is. So he's the only one that fits both. So that's him there. Which of the following is the more likely to occur? choosing a club from a pack of cards or throwing a number less than three on an ordinary dice. Right, clubs are the suits. There are 13 clubs out of 52 playing cards. But we didn't actually need to write that down because we know there's four suits and one of the suits are clubs. We could have went straight to one over four. Throwing a number less than three on an ordinary dice. On an ordinary die, sorry. So less than three, you've got a one or a two. The six possible outcomes, so that's two sixths or one third. Comparing a quarter and a third, well, we know a quarter is less than a third or a third is greater than a quarter already. But it's nice to just compare it by decimals. So one divided by four is 0 0.25. One divided by three is 0 0.333333. So which is more likely to occur? This one's more likely to to occur because the probability is larger. So throwing less than three at 0 0.25 is less than 0 0.33333. Three classes were given a test. The pass rate is given which class had the best pass rate. So again, just like the previous question, get them into a decimal and you can compare them. So 26 thirtieths. 26 divided by 30. If we have a calculator, this bar is just a division sign. 26 divided by 30, 0 0.8666. So the same for the other two and pick the largest. So the pass rate up here is slightly higher than the pass rate down here. So class A had the higher pass rate. And that's everything.